Hello everyone, this is KingCon IoT. In this video, I will show you how to use Raspberry Pi, the board, and the 32 relay box uh, controlled by the home kit, like this, on and off. And also, you can use the server. Turn on light one. Okay, the light one is on. Turn off light one. Okay, the light one is off. So we can use the Apple HomeKit for turn on and turn off the light by mobile phone or by your voice. Okay, let's begin. We look at all this hardware we used. This is 32 channel relay board. And I have already connected a lamp with this relay one, output one. And this socket will connect with, with this AC power. And uh, the Raspberry Pi we use is the Pi 4. And uh, that last time we have installed the operation system in this uh, TF card. Uh, we use a Bluetooth, Bluetooth keyboard and the mouse. Bluetooth. USB, USB adapt, and uh, HDMI, HDMI cable with the monitor, and this is the power supply. Okay, let's all this device power on. We open the monitor, and uh, this power on, and the pipe power supply. And the Pi LED will blink. The system is start up. Okay, this is the Pi system we have installed. Now we will use this computer to record this screen. At the first, I need to know the controller's IP and the network setting. We can use the network setting software and to see the, this IP and the work mode. We can write down on the paper. And uh, this is our controller's IP port and the work mode. You need to make sure all this information in your config setting is right. Okay, we open the operation system. We can see this menu. This is a program. We need firstly, we open the Node-RED service, start the service of Node-RED. We have used the Wi-Fi. We know not connect with the network cable, so we use the Wi-Fi already connect. So you can see this is the Wi-Fi uh, signal and the IP. And also you can, when start the Red Node service, you can see the IP in this position. So we just use this link, copy, copy this IP and open the Rather, input this. This is we first open the Node Red environment, and uh, it's based on the web page. And this is all the node. The node can can try out. You can try out and uh, connect this LAN. So it's very easy. I have deleted. Uh, the main language now is the English. Also, you can see our uh, this computer. This language is Chinese. So when you install the Node Red, uh, the main language will according to your country language. It will automatically change. So 
the first step we need to we need to use this HomeKit. So first we will install the node. This is the manager the nodes we will install because the first time so we need to search the home kit and uh, install this one node led contribute home kit install and uh, choose this install okay now this is installed and which was close when install complete we will see this is a home kit node so we can try out the first experiment we will country the light so we use this one node to double click and uh, add a new home kit accessory this is pin code you can set anyway we can use this not to change and uh, type type we can choose a light light name light one light one add and the service also we can change the light and the name light one down okay this is a home kit about light one uh, this is a simplest we can press deploy successful deploy this just like the program running so the program is running this is the pin code this is the home kit menu and we press add accessory and uh, don't have a code okay you can see this this is our light this just uh, this one so we press okay add then input the pin code the pin code is one 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 so we press one oh is one add okay it's light one and uh, press next down so we can see this is a button create we can press on and off when I press on and off you can see the on is true or false is the state so if we let press on and press off to country the lamp just we send a command to our relay box so we can see we can add this debug debug node and uh, use the line connect with the debug node and uh, this debug node we can see all this information debug window complete message choose complete message now okay when we deploy and uh, press the the back window you can see when I press on this is the command that we can see and press off we can see and uh, you can choose this one so press on this one when I press on, the on is true. 
when I press off, when I press off, you can see. The payload, the subs subtitle on is off. So just to change the on and the off, the value we can country this this button. Okay, next step, we can judge a we can choose a switch node. The switch node we connect with this line double click and msg payload msg payload just this message the message payload have a on on property we can judge if it's true, then it will go the way one and add. It, if it is true, false, I go to the way two. We press down. We press down. When we press on, the light will come to this up, up note and uh, when I press off, the follow will go to this point. Now we add a function. Add two function. Two function and uh, TCP because we use TCP communication. So we use a TCP out. TCP out. This we can double click. This use connector two. We need to connect to this box. This box IP and port in this way. So the port is 196, and the host is this IP. The controller is a server. Name you can choose a name such as our module. Um, then we can use the line. The first way, do this function, and this function output to this box. And the second, do this function, this function connect with this TCP out. So this function we need to file. We need to input the command. Let let the relay box turn on light one. And this we need to input the command, turn off light one. Uh, what command we need? Okay, we can see the protocol on our website. See this knowledge. And uh, we choose a item for protocol. This is protocol, development protocol. We can find the command. We can see this command. Turn on one relay on and off. So this string, relay set, this X means the relay channel. So we can copy this. This is turn on and turn off. If turn off, just send this. If turn on, send this. So we copy this stream and to our function. This we need to write msg dot payload. This command is turn on relay one. Just change this. This x means this x means the channel of the relay. So we just use this command, and we copy this.
small down. And we also set the command for this function. We pass all and turn off. Just press the zero because you can see turn off when relay is send this command. Just the second number is zero. And the first uh, always five uh, two five five fixed, not not changed. Always this. And we press down. And uh, now we deploy. Okay, successful deploy. And this is connected. So now this is connected with this box by TCP socket. Now you can see this lamp. And this is home kit. Turn on and turn off. Turn on and turn off. And also, you can use the server. Turn on light one. Okay, the light one is on. Turn off light one. Just a moment. Okay, the light one is off. When you complete the diagram, so you can use the export to save all your information. Uh, just uh, use the download. And this is a file uh, saved for this diagram. Uh, if you can wa want to count in the 32 channel, because just this is an example for relay one, so you can just uh, copy, copy all this note and uh, pencil just for 32, like this diagram, because the time I have a uh, already create the 32 of the channel. So we can also use the import. This import, we can choose a file. This is Johnson file. We can click and uh, uh, as a new follow import. Okay, then we can see this follow. Uh, this follow we have already already create 32 home kit node from light one light two three four uh, will until the 32 so all use this way to create and uh, this connect with the 32 channel tcp out so in this video we have used the home kit you can turn on and turn off when relay. And also we have do the 32 channel diagram that you can deploy and for uh, the 32 channel or show on the home kit because this need much much more time. So in order to save time, I not do this. And in next uh, video, I will tell you how to use this switch panel. We will use this switch panel connect with this relay box. So when you press on and off, we can see the state, the light state uh, on and off. That's how to do. We will show you in next video. Thanks for watching.